Brittany Moore takes us back to a year ago when a grandmother was shot at a high school graduation. It's part of our series, Seven Days, A Thousand Shootings. Good evening and thank you for shooting. If it feels like we're telling you about gun violence every night on the news. A lot of the time, it feels like that to us too. Now to a shooting in Northeast Portland. Shootings on not just here in New Orleans, but at our sister stations in cities across America. Shooting after shooting after shooting. The stories of lives lost, lives forever changed just about every single night. We looked at seven days of shooting data from the National Gun Violence Archive and found at this time. There you go, Reese. Right yep. on point, man. Seven days of data data from the National Gun Violence Archive and found at this time last year, our country reached the sobering milestone of a thousand shootings in seven days. <laughs> how many of those, how many of those is with sons? How many of those thousand <laughs> shootings with sons? Same. 994. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say 950. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would say, I would say, I would say nine, about nine twenty-five. Yeah, I would, I would go nine twenty-five. If we playing prices right, I'm gonna say nine twenty-five. In seven days, that's yeah. us. Nine hundred and ninety-four. Damn, the price is right. <laughs> yeah, man, because we know it's a high. We know it's the vast majority, but I, I go, I go, Bob. I'll say nine twenty-five, man. I'm gonna say nine hundred. Yeah, just think about that. Whatever. I should look it up. So who's doing the other hundred then? Uh, if it's nine hundred, and burritos and gliders, like two of these was tigers, maybe one or two. No, that's a lot. That's a lot too. That's yeah, too yeah. too many, dude. Maybe In seven maybe days, one, yeah, maybe one was a tiger, but I think on burritos could on burritos coast to coast could do a hundred shootings in a, in, a, in a week. Well, this is a short period of time, and, and, and depending on which seven days this was, this could have been a hundred percent, nigga. Yeah, this right. was a yeah, Memorial yeah. Day. Hold on, let me see what day was it. It was um, seven uh -oh. days of shooting data from the National Gun Violence Archive. Is that Memorial Day weekend? No, <laughs> it looked like it might be, and it just no. passed. Memorial Day weekend would have been right there. Yeah, thirtieth, right? No, the twenty third. The one before that, I don't know. What's Didn't it just pass? Yeah. Memorial man. Day was the 30th. Okay, so yeah, it's the 30th. Yeah, this would have been Memorial Day weekend, yeah. This is us. Yeah, this is us. This is us. So, uh, and found at this time yeah, last year, our country reached the sobering milestone of a thousand shootings in seven days. Augustine Greenwood was killed in one of them. That should have been one of your proudest days. Yes, um, because it was my son that graduated. Um, it started out being a really great day. Corey Lashley. Corey Lashley Jr. had just walked across the stage at Xavier University, diploma in hand, officially a proud graduate of Morris Jeff High School. She was just really happy on that day. She was really happy. This snapshot this moment was one of the last moments that made sense that day. <laughs> As you're walking away. Damn, Reese, man. You, gotta, hey, um, you, know, you out here taking bong hits, man. Yeah, you smoking that fire. Something went down the wrong way. <laughs> that loud. It was that loud that went the wrong way. <laughs> this would think about this mo moment right here. This is like seconds before she's dead. Mm. A gunman would open fire seconds after this. And she would get killed. It's unfucking believable, man. On that day, she was really happy. This snapshot, this moment, was one of the last moments that made sense that day. As we were walking away, we heard the first shot, and I turned to see what was going on. Court records reveal an argument between two of the graduates' families in the parking lot escalated when a 15 year An argument between two of the graduates' families. Now you see why I was so keyed up when I was at the Splash Park the other day with my daughter? 
Mm. And I'm like, man, she she snatched one of these toys out one of these fucking kids' hands. And then mother say something, and they say something, and blah, 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 the next thing you know, somebody calling somebody out here. I just being around black people is fucking stressful, mm. man. Mm. I like with the I with the gladiator would have been like, oh, that's some corny shit. Like, oh Jesus, huh? Kids, huh? Something yeah. corny and then nothing. Yeah, this is this is this is this is normal. And once they said an argument happened, if there's an argument and the son man has a gun, it doesn't matter that it is a graduation, it's right outside the graduation venue. It doesn't matter. He's got a gun. You're saying something he doesn't like. It doesn't matter. When some men got guns, they're looking for somebody to shoot. Court records reveal an argument between two of the graduates' families in the parking lot escalated when a 15-year-old pulled out a gun, accidentally shooting himself, leading to a volley of gunfire that ended with three people shot. One of them was a proud grandmother walking to her car. And as I turned back, you could hear several more shots. And that's when I saw my mom laying there on the ground. 80-year-old Augustine Greenwood took a stray bullet across the parking lot. Just she was a stray bullet. She was across the parking lot. She took a stray bullet. The savagery of these people. These people are savages. These people are fucking savages. Self-proclaimed savages sat there with her and held her until the ambulance came. It was really a um, quick response time because um, the mayor was the commencement speaker at the ceremony. Our 2020 Damn, the mayor was there. The mayor was the commencement speaker and it didn't mean a thing. It don't mean a thing mm. if it don't got that swing. Well, to be fair, she's with that shit. Let's tell you that that star yacht. These are savages, man. Listen, man. We're like a thousand years from crawling on all fours, man. I believe we were on all fours a thousand years ago. No, no. Fucking <laughs> savages, man. Yo, and, and and I, we don't know who this bitch is gonna like be, or like what she thinks about. She might be like, man. Well, the shooter, you know, he tried him, and he, you know, you can't, you gotta, you can't disrespect. Man, shut up, bitch. You can't shoot people. Right. Salute the Mayo Monkey, man. Ock Nation Hall of Fame will come to you, man. Yo, we're savages. I, I Listen, I'm not, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to do research. When did sun people start walking upright, man? I think it was probably a thousand years ago, man. There's no way. We're fucking savages. Hey, there's a civilization, and it's called Sentinel Island. And they're, yeah. they're the only untouched people on Earth that have never been invaded or... And they still have their original culture from 60,000 years ago. Yeah, bow and arrows and shit. Exactly. Poison tip bow and arrows, but yeah. yeah. And they murder everything that come in there. Any, nobody's ever went in there and came out alive. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. If you go in there and sneeze, you kill every last one of them. Yeah, probably. It was really a um, quick response time because um, the mayor was the commencement speaker at the ceremony. Our 2022 graduating class of Morris F. Jess. Cantrell's speech won't be anyone's biggest memory of that day. Now the memory of that graduation for every single kid and every single family that was there mm -hmm. is forever tarnished by what happened here. Yes. That's devastating. Yes, it is. And Augustine will be missing from all their memories moving forward. A community garden without Augustine's careful hand. A niece's wedding who considered Augustine a best friend without Augustine present. Walks on the levee at her favorite spot, no longer taken. And like this past one, Thanksgivings without her cooking. 